Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith and in this video we're going to be unboxing a new edition of the NKJV Verse by Verse Center Column Reference Bible from Thomas Nelson. Let's dive in. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, yes. Really, this really smells, it smells really nice. Bible. I'm going to do a full review. I'm going to dive into the specs. Sometimes people comment on these. Okay, what we have here is a Bible that's actually been around for a while from Thomas Nelson, the NKJV verse-by-verse -verse center column reference Bible. Really classic design. I actually have a couple copies of it in my house, and I've never done a review or a video with it, I don't think. Really, really great Bible. And they recently released a new edition in the Premier Collection, which is their pre premium line of Bibles. And it's, it's basically what you call a line extension in the publishing world. They already have it. They're extending this line of Bibles with the new edition. I just got a copy of it. It came out a few months ago, so it's out there. But I wanted to do an unboxing video and show it to you. It looks really cool from the photos that I've seen online, that brown goat skin that they are known for at Thomas Nelson that I love a lot. I have the, the NKJV single column reference Bible up there. It's one of my favorite Bibles in this same brown goat skin. I have, uh, anyway, love the color, love the look. I've got a new copy of it. Are you ready? I've got my B cam right here. What's up? Let's dive in. Always nice. How do I get this open? Always nice to have a new mail day. Oh, there's some perforation. There we go. There we go. NKJV. A little invoice. Take that. Slide the box. This whole thing spread out really big. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, here we go. NKJV, verse by verse center column reference Bible. So as you can imagine, this is going to be a verse by verse Bible with center column references. Creative title there. It's a, it's a nice big, it's a heavy Bible. It says NKV, NKJV comfort print, European paper, kind of the standard from the Premier Collection. If you've never had a Premier Collection Bible before, that's Thomas Nelson, the sister company. Zondervan premium Bibles on 36 GSM paper. Really nice. They, they look great. They're not overpriced. You can get them for a good price. I mean, just really, really nice. It comes wrapped up two-piece box. It comes wrapped up in this cardboard paper with the Premier Collection seal on there. I like to sneak them out by just opening this little tab on the side and then sliding. If I can get the Bible to slide out, I'm going to do this. Show it to you this way. Three, two, one. Oh, yes. Oh, that's nice. Great size. Great size Bible. Look at that really nice pebbly grain, brown goat skin, the perimeter stitch around the outside. You get raised spine hubs. It says Holy Bible there, and then NKJV and Thomas Nelson at the bottom. Really, it smells, it smells really nice. It doesn't have, it's like, I would say like a slight chemically smell because they dyed this leather, I'm sure, but, but it's, it's got a really nice leathery smell to it. Nice, big, sturdy Bible. This feels like the same size as uh, Schuyler Quintel, Cambridge Topaz, you know, an Allen Reader, that sort of thing. Probably like a six by nine Bible. I'm going to do a full review. I'm going to dive into the specs. Sometimes people comment on these unboxing videos. They're like, why didn't you show all of the specific? Well, this is an unboxing video. It's first impressions. I'm going to do that. But just kind of the first impressions is nice general size. It's a big Bible. It's, a, it's, a, it's about an inch and a half thick. Let's see here. Wow, that looks really, really good. It's, it's like a nice, tight, pebbly grain on there. It's not too wide open. It's very, very soft and floppy. You've got a red under gold art gilding on the pages. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm going to open this up. Looks really good on the inside. I, what, well, one of the things I'd say about the Thomas Nelson line of premium Bibles, the Premier Collection, is they're really solid, and they're also, and I like this, they're very simple and clean. They're not they're not super showy. You get three different colored ribbons and things like this. is a nice length on these ribbons actually. So there's three different colored ribbons, blue, red, and brown. Let me see if I can spread that out so you can see them a little bit better. Blue, red, and brown, really nice long ribbons. These Bibles are just very, very classic looking. They, they, they're, you know, people are probably not, I said this in a recent video about another Bible, they're not going to look at it and like think that it's a super fancy Bible, but you're going to know when you feel it. You're going to feel the quality. So edge line construction, nice 36 GSM paper. So this says it was copyrighted in 2019. So this Bible's been around for a few years, verse by verse, center column reference Bible. You get the preface, and then you get into Genesis. So it does Genesis. It does have book introductions. You can see this on the first page of Genesis. And then there you have the text. 
Let me open this up a little bit for us. Two column text, those red embellishments on the page, verse by verse, and then the center column for the references. Let me do this. So you get the textual footnotes and the center column. So let me get up here. So now I'm into numbers. There you have it wide across the screen, verse by verse. So on the, the, the left column is going to be has cross references at the top of the page. The right column's cross references are at the bottom of the page. You can kind of find it easily. Red accents for the verse numbers, for the section headings, for the page headers. This looks really, really nice. I love the NKJV comfort print typeface. It's very easy to read. It's designed to be exactly that way. Really, really nice. Let's see what it looks like when we get into the more poetic sections. So Psalms, verse by verse, still kind of that paragraph format, but you get the indentions in there. See how you get the indentions that are kind of more of a poetic setting? But it still feels very consistent as you get into the poetic settings. If we get into something like uh, here in Jeremiah, we might have a couple of places. Like here on the far side of this page, you see the more the more paragraph section here, it's still verse by verse, but paragraph format. And then down here, you have your more poetic setting with the, the line breaks and things like that. So that's kind of, it gives you a look at what this does. You know, study Bible, not a study Bible, it's a good reference Bible. You get all the cross references, you get the textual footnotes right there in the center column. It's got a verse by verse format. So if you are, it's really great for like a preaching Bible, if you were gonna do that with it, or, or studying and things like that, it's good. It is a red letter Bible. So let me get into the, the gospels here so you can see some of the red letter on those pages. It's a nice medium kind of even red letter. It's very, very, looks very good. Overall, it just feels good. At the back, it's got, it's got, let's see here, a concordance, three column concordance, set of glossy Bible maps. Really, really nice. I mean, honestly, this, this to me, would be like up there is and there's a lot of different premium NKJV Bibles from Thomas Nelson. This is probably one of the nicer ones that I've seen as far as like just the overall kind of classic look and feel. Um, you know, verse by verse, center column. It's got all the references and things like that. It's just a really nice Bible and it looks great. It feels great. Like top to bottom. And that's one of the things I see a lot of Bibles and every now and then there's like oh, I wonder why they did that or I wonder why they did this and this is just straight up consistent. Straight through. They make this in black. They make it in brown. They have a couple of different genuine leather editions of it. Like it's a really nice, like lots of different options. Really, really beautiful. And I love, I love their brown Bibles. Like, let me see real quick. Let me see if I can reach back here with my microphone. I've got this one. And I just went rogue in the middle of this video. I've got this one that I've had for a while. It's pretty much the same color, slightly, I don't know if you can see that, slightly different color, slightly darker on the single column reference Bible, but you can see it's, it's shorter and it's stockier, right? But I really love their brown Bibles. Such a great look. This one you can see kind of have that more wide open grainier, grainier pattern. It's almost like a, a vertical grain versus this is like super tight. That's, I mean, obviously just the differences in the leather, but very, very nice. So that's the NKJV verse by verse center column reference Bible. The, the newest edition here is the brown goatskin edition. Looks really great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some links in the description of this video to where you can purchase one of these. If you're like, I'm ready to go. I want to buy this Bible. I'm also going to put links um, to, to other Bibles that I've done in the NKJV Premier Collection. So you can watch some more of those videos and see what else they have available. If you'd like me to do, a, I am going to do a full-on in-depth review of this Bible with some of the other ones that I have so you can see some of the different options and we're going to talk about the type size and all of those things. This is really just like, hey, this is a new Bible that's recently come out there and the first impression is really solid. So if you're looking for something like this, I think it could work really, really well. If you have any questions, drop those in the comments and I will get back to you when I do that full review. I'll make sure I answer all of those questions. And if you've already picked up one of these and you're using it, we would love to hear from you. So leave those comments in the, in the, leave those comments in the comments as well. Uh, yeah, uh, if you, I'm trying to think of what else I have to say. Honestly, y'all, 
I've recorded a couple of videos today. It's my first time back after vacation. And I'm like, what do I do at the end of these videos? I talk about social media, Instagram, Facebook. I talk about how I'm glad that you watched this video. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna keep this. I could start over, but I've been having a good time. Um, I really do appreciate y'all. If you have any questions, like I said, drop those in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.